Hi guys, I'm Ava and I'm a travel vlogger. Over the last few months I've been spending quite a lot of my time in Pakistan and of course I've been getting a lot of questions as to why Pakistan? What is so special about this place that you're spending so much time here? What made you fall in love with this country? So I thought I would finally settle this question once and for all and tell you all the reasons why I fell in love with Pakistan. Now there's a lot of things to love about this place so you're gonna have to bear with me for a good few minutes. After you've watched this video make sure that you comment below and tell me why you love this place, what I've missed and what else I should check out. Alright, ready? Chalo, let's go! Let me start off with a mindset concept. It's called Drugard and it's pretty unique to Pakistan. What does Drugard mean? Hmm. It's kind of hard to translate it into English because English doesn't really have the same concept. But essentially the idea is that you create a solution to a problem with very limited resources. A sort of a hack you know, a makeshift solution. Because sometimes in Pakistan you really have to think outside the box and create original solutions to problems. Now the reason why I love the Jugaad mentality is because it makes everything possible. And really, nothing is impossible in Pakistan. Next up, the natural beauty of Pakistan. I do think it's possible to overestimate just how epic and unforgettable and stunning the landscapes here are. Not only does Pakistan have the Himalayas, it also has the Hindukush and the Karakoram ranges. It has beaches, it has cliffs, it has forests, hills and valleys and rivers and it has all the beauty of the natural landscapes that you find all around the world but it has them in one gorgeous, beautiful place. And that place is mostly unspoiled and it is mostly undiscovered and that's the magic of it. There is nothing that compares to the natural beauty of Pakistan. Nothing that surpasses it anywhere in Asia. That collection of absolutely everything, all the best things that nature has to offer right here in this one beautiful country. And then there are the roads which I love no matter how bad they get. But these roads from the Karakoram Highway which takes you all the way from Pakistan into China to the dirt tracks in the mountains, these roads take you to some of the most inaccessible places in the world. And the roads themselves are a huge adventure when you sit in that jeep, when you sit in that 4x4 and you see the cliff right next to you and you see the mountain edge on the other side and you know that you're getting to an incredible place but the road gives you a thrill like nothing else. And some of these roads will take you to the next reason why I love Pakistan, the cities of this country, the bustling, hustling metropolises filled with people, filled with cars, traffic, noise, beauty, lights and colours and street food stalls and spices and markets and women and men and children and animals of all kinds and everything in between. The cities that have so much life and so much soul in them, the cities that never ever sleep. And then suddenly you might turn a corner and you might go into a tiny little street and then you might smell an aroma in the air and you will know that you are hungry for Pakistani food because that is another reason to love Pakistan. The food, the most aromatic, the spiciest, the richest of all flavors. And you might eat it at a roadside daba or in a tiny little restaurant that's 50 years old or when you hold it in the palm of your hand right there on the street. And then there is the way it makes you feel inside. So warm that the warmth actually spreads to your heart. It makes you feel at home. And I love the chai too. I love it when someone offers me a cup of chai as a welcome into their home, as a welcome into their shop, as a gesture of shared moments together of kindness and of generosity. And I love sipping on that warm, lovely, sweet drink and feeling like I really belong. 
And there is the street life. As soon as you finish your cup of chai and you go back out on that street and you see all that craziness and all that vibrancy all around you. How the street never stops. How everybody lives their lives out on the street. How you sit down, you dine, you eat, you talk out on the street and you watch the world go by. The street life that is unmistakably Pakistani. And if you're lucky out on the street, you might glimpse the colors and textures and textiles of some of the beautiful clothes worn by Pakistani women. There is a different definition of fashion here, and although it's modest in its sentiment, it is bold and brave and beautiful in the way that it sparkles, in the way that it presents itself to the world, in the way that it all twirls all the fabrics all around you. And while we're on the subject of fashion and art, we cannot forget about the literature of Pakistan because there are so many unique voices conveying the experience of being Pakistani, of breathing in Pakistan and of living in Pakistan. They give voice to this complex identity, they grasp it and capture it and turn it into art. But the talent doesn't end there. There is music, there is filmmaking, there is photography, there is so much beauty in the art making by artists known and unknown all across the country. I can't help but fall in love with the talent, the raw talent and the nurtured talent and the mature and immature talent that I see around me every single day all across Pakistan. And you know what else I love about Pakistan? I love its values. I love that there is a set of values that people follow. People value hospitality, people value their guests, people value their families above anything else. I am constantly inspired by how much people value all these things and how loyal people are to their values and to the values represented by their families. But who is it that acts upon these values? Of course it's the people. And it's the people of Pakistan that I fell in love with first and foremost. I fell in love with their spirit of kindness and generosity and with their open minds and their open hearts and open arms. Unlike anything I've seen before on my travels, it's the people of Pakistan who have made me feel so welcome in this country. And it's their smiles that have infected me and made me smile in turn and that make me smile continuously every day. And you know what other trait Pakistanis have that no other nation, in my view, has in the same quantity? It's optimism. Living here is not always easy for everybody, but all I've seen is a sea, an ocean of positivity, a consistent belief that things will somehow be okay. And there's one other very important thing I need to mention, and that's generosity. And I'm not just talking about material generosity. I am talking about the most important kind. I am talking about the generosity of time, of spirit, of attention and a listening ear. I have never been refused help in Pakistan. In fact, I have been offered it on an ongoing basis every day. Help, guidance, attention, information, the hearts and souls of people here. But do you know what I think I love the most about Pakistan? That's a difficult one. But in spite of all the misconceptions and all the stereotypes that the West has about this country, the people here are so warm, welcoming and positive about the future. And of course it gives them a huge smile on their face whenever a foreigner or a guest comes to Pakistan and says, oh my god, I never thought that Pakistan was like this. And now it gives me so much joy to see that too and to be able to voice it and to be able to show that Pakistan is an incredible, unique and special place. And there are so many reasons to love it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, it would mean the world to me if you subscribed to my channel or any of my other social media channels listed below. Thank you so much. Shukriya. And see you next time.